right, we're about to head into the old historic district of Monterey, which is Cannery Row and the Monterey Bay Aquarium, neither of which I have been to in about 21 years, so it's kind of exciting. There's the Cannery Row Inn. So it's still really old and very quaint down here. Spanish immigrants who had come from the port of Malaga, southern Spain. These are the small row houses that they lived in, directly across from the cannery. About 10% of the fleet was made up of Japanese nationals. The Japanese had actually been fishing Monterey since the early 1900s. They may work as anything from a boiler man whistling new crews to work as a fresh catch arrived to a seamer sealing oval sardine cans. By 1918, they had helped produce 1.4 million cans. Push some polymer clay for you. That's adjustable as well. Um, can you bring it up? Yep. Oh, and the same thing. Okay, watch my door. Watch me close my door. This is very cool. And I can actually close both doors from here. Right. I'm going to be oh. a, a gentle woman and close your door. Yeah. All right, put your seatbelt on. I'm taking you for a ride. It's because I'm trying to really see the width. Am I close to that edge over there? You're normal. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what's the difference in this one you were saying? Convention, different steering wheel, different gear shifts. Which which field do you like better? I know it. I can answer that one. <laughs> this, this one. <laughs> well, this one makes me want to just like go. Yeah. Just go faster and, you know. The other one I love. Um, this one I, I feel more at home in. Definitely the smaller steering wheel helps. But you can feel 40 in this one more so than in the other one. The what, sorry? Yeah, I feel like I'm actually moving out at right, 40. Right. You know, in the other one, no clue. Very similar. What is the ghost run in price? Um, the official pricing hasn't been announced. Um, it will depend on the configuration of the car, but it will be under 3 Well, we're back in my car now. It's certainly not the Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe I got to test drive yesterday. But still not too shabby. We're leaving historical Cannery Row and heading back to Pebble Beach to check out some more art and cars. And Art Society, Mr. Ken Eberts. Well, thanks a lot, Dave, for the nice introduction. And, and we're really fortunate to have Dave. He's the uh, KABC automotive reporter in Los Angeles and also a coronet like the rest of us. He has a 1968 Mustang. In fact, that Mustang is at the Henry Ford Museum right now on display. So thanks a lot, Dave. And thank you, Sandra, and the Pebble Beach Concord Elegance for having us here for the last 24 years. I tried to get a you know, competition piece done, but I just didn't have enough time. So I, I was trying to impress you. <laughs> what is this last one down here on the bottom? That one what is I, that did, I did for Bob Larvey, or the guy that we had lunch with the other day from okay. Detroit. Right. And those are, the, he does hot rod shows all over there. And this one particular uh, hot rod builder named Chip Lewis. I built those three cars and won the Riddler Award all three times. So I did that as a tribute to Chip Lewis. And then he signed the prints and I signed the prints, but that's the original thing. Oh, that's excellent. Now, is that an um, actual street that's in downtown Detroit? It is. It's, it the, is. it's a convention. So I see somebody I need to talk oh, to. Oh, absolutely. So, okay. Today I drove a Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, which is the latest version. And now we are seeing the very first Rolls Royce ever. Barnet. The hood is not tapered at all. It is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 